Okay, in the last video we noted that we can now, with an addition of a nulling resistor, change the location of our zero by just changing the size of the nulling resistor. So we note that if RZ is less than 1 over GM2, then omega Z1 remains in the right half plane. and still causes us a problem with phase shift. However, if we were to make RZ greater than 1 over GM2, omega Z1 moves to the left half plane. And of course, gives us a better phase shift. So this is what we're going to do. Now the other thing that we want to do is to create the largest separation possible between our zero, uh, between our uh, two different pole frequencies. So one thing that we can do in order to uh, ensure this is if we assume that P1 is at a lower frequency than P2 and that's at a lower frequency than P3, then we can place the zero Z1 on top of P2, effectively canceling those two out we'd be left with a transfer function that only had two poles and they'd be as far apart as we could get them. And that's what we're going to do. We're going to make Z1 equal to P2. Okay, now if we do this, we uh, can solve, we know what uh, omega Z1 is and we know what uh, omega P2 is, so we can set them equal to one another. And solve for RZ. Okay, and we would get the following expression. CC plus CL divided by CC times 1 over GM2 uh, uh, divided by CC. Okay, after we do this, we know what the third pole frequency is because we know the size of RZ. Remember, omega P3 is equal to 1 over RZ times C1. And so omega P3 would be equal to 1 over C1 times 1 plus CL over CC times 1 over GM2. Okay, now let's look at a Bode plot. So we still have a dominant pole, omega P1. Now we have a second pole that is what our omega P3 from the prior calculation was. And we note that we also have a pole zero cancellation of omega P2 and omega Z1. So the new goal for compensation then, if we want a 45 degree phase margin for instance, would be to design uh, the compensation capacitor so that our closed loop gain intersected the open loop gain at omega P3 instead of omega P2. So our new compensation for 45 degree phase margin is GM1 divided by omega P3 times ACL, the closed loop gain that we desire. And if we make our substitutions, of course, this is equal to Okay. One comment here, of course, is if we want 
Uh, this this uh, compensation capacitor gives us 45 degrees phase margin. For any other phase margin, we have to find that factor that we looked at in lecture 17. But the rest of the pre procedure is still the same. Okay, so we will stop there with compensation.